Hey humans, how you all doing? It's George 3. I'm filming on my phone right now as a little test for a new video software I downloaded called called Video Guru. Seems interesting. Thought I'd like to try it. May as well make a video testing it out. Abstinence only is a lie. People like to say that abstinence only is a uh, is one of the only ways for to get for certain for somebody not to be get, able to get pregnant, but that's not always the case. That abstinence only is a lie. I could bring up a whole bunch of statistics and stuff like that, but there's already enough information out there already about this type of information, and I'm lazy. I don't feel like bringing it up. You can already look this up yourself. You know, a lot of pro lifers like to say that abstain abstaining from sex completely is the only way for somebody not to get pregnant. That's not true. And that's not true, and I would like to tell you how. Thanks to modern technology and medicine, thanks to wonderful science, there's this wonderful thing called in vitro fertilization that enables women who can be pregnant, that enables cis female gendered women who are able to be pregnant to be pregnant without having to lose their virginity. As shown up these examples here. If you're a Christian and you believe that Jesus, who is, who is the Son of God and also God, depending on which version of Christianity you are a believer in. Apparently he was born from a virgin, a young female virgin, apparently. Clearly even the Bible states that uh, abstaining from sex can result in getting pregnant. So clearly the Bible states that you can get pregnant without having to have sex. Son of, son of Mary, the mother of Jesus. Did Mary receive God's holy grace which caused her to get impregnated with the Son of God? Through miraculous, through miraculous means, or did she accidentally sit on an unclean surface where somebody previously did some stuff that I'm not going to name, but clearly, based on this topic of this video, you understand what I'm saying. And she got pregnant that way. Mary on Joseph, somebody much, much younger around her age group, since Joseph at the time of marrying her was like decades older than Mary, and Mary was like maybe 13, 14 at the time. And she just, you know, used the excuse of seeing an angel to say that, to make it so that she didn't uh, get in trouble for having a secret affair. Maybe she had morning sickness uh, the day prior and decided to, you know, make up this whole story about seeing God's angel saying that she's pregnant with God's baby just so she can get in trouble. Who knows? I don't know. I have no idea. So, who knows? Not even their own lawyer can be consistent with it. So, in conclusion... What did we learn today? That in today's modern times, you can get pregnant without ever having sex at all thanks to science and technology. That somebody from the ancient past could have easily gotten pregnant by just sitting on some unclean surface where somebody spilled a seed and they never had sex, so they got pregnant that way. Mary, the mother of Jesus, proves that without a doubt that abstaining from sex is not 100% foolproof with, from getting pregnant from getting pregnant like many pro-lifers proclaim that abstinence only is the only way not to get pregnant when obviously according to the theology that's not the case either okay so I want to thank everybody for watching this video hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this video leave a comment down below share this video around have a great day bye everyone <laughs>